Bongo Mongo and the Magic Banana. This story is by Chris Kolbach and it is dedicated to my love of bananas and fruit. There once lived an ape, a gorilla actually, who lived on an island full of magical fruit. His name was Bongo Mongo. Bongo Mongo's favorite fruit was a banana. He loved its yellow color and its great taste just when it's ripe. There were so many different kinds of fruit on this island. Everything from mangoes and bananas to papayas and coconuts. One day, Bongo Mongo was getting very hungry. So he decided to go to a tree and try to get a banana down from it. He wanted to shake the tree to get the banana down because he couldn't climb up the tree. So Bongo Mongo took up his biggest might and he said, Arr, Bongo Mongo! and shook the tree as hard as he could to see if the fruit would fall. Boom! Then a pineapple fell down from the tree. This pineapple with its yellowish brown color, its sharp ridges, and its sweet taste fell down from the tree, right on the ground, with a thud. Bongo Mongo picked it up. Bongo Mongo said, Bongo Mongo no want pineapple, and threw it on the ground. Then Bongo Mongo shook the tree again. He said, Bongo Mongo, and he shook it as hard as he could, and thud. Down came a coconut, a brown coconut with a white inside after you crack it, and milk that is inside the coconut as well. It is extremely foamy and tastes really good. Bongo Mongo though didn't want a coconut. He said, Bongo Mongo no want coconut. Then, for the third time, Bongo Mongo shook the tree with all of his might. Rawr! He made a sound and shook the tree and thud. Down came a mango with its hairy texture. This orange and yellowish colored mango is sweet in flavor. But Bongo Mongo didn't want a mango. Bongo Mongo wanted a banana. Bongo Mongo is very sad. All he wanted was to get down a banana, but he couldn't get down the banana no matter how many times he shook. 20 pineapples, 15 coconuts, 10 mangoes, all fell, but not one banana for Bongo Mongo. But then, Bongo Mongo heard someone behind him. It was two children from the village nearby. They came up and said, Bongo Mongo, thank you for all the fruit you've knocked down. Our family could not get the fruit, so thank you for knocking it down. This will feed us for weeks. Bongo Mongo shook his head. He didn't understand. All he wanted was a banana, but he was helping someone? Bongo Mongo replied, Bongo Mongo just wanted banana. And the children said, Well thank you though Bongo, I'm sorry you can't have your banana, but you've helped us feed, feed our families for the next week. The children went off, and so did Bongo Mongo. He knew he wasn't getting down his banana for the day. As he walked off, he felt sad. But yet he felt happy. He got to help someone out today and he didn't even notice. He thought to himself, sometimes maybe I can just help others instead of thinking about myself and what I want. That's the lesson that you should learn. You can't always get what you want in life, but sometimes it might even come to you in weird ways. As Bongo walked off, he heard a thud and he turned around and there was the banana on the ground.